That's right. It's another Broken Rod Joe video. Wait, no, don't, 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 don't leave! Alright, so, uh, forgive the mess here. But I do have a little project going on here I'm trying to get situated. If you follow us and you watched any of our videos, you may have noticed our last shark video, fishing video with uh, Magic Pat. And when we were editing that, we realized, you know, we really need to come up with a lighting solution for these videos. That way y'all could see what's going on better. Uh, our folks helping us did a great job holding the lights. But it was a lot of, you know, having to chase each other down and all this other stuff. So we wanted something that could be kind of a self-contained self power station light providing deal. So uh, that's what I'm going to be working on today. And to start, I wanted to find a bag that would work for our situation here. I managed to go down to Goodwill and get this bag for $5.00 has a couple bags, you know, a couple little bags here on the inside, so I could actually probably put a couple trays of fishing tackle in there, as well as having, you know, my setup for my lights. What I want to do is uh, utilize some of DeWalt batteries that I already have, maybe have them in like these side pouches, and I want to run the wires through this backpack, so eventually what ends up happening is you'll have some lights affixed to your shoulders with these straps here. And how I'm gonna do that is with these lights here, I actually ordered, focus. I actually ordered these off eBay. They're uh, good and bright lights. Uh, actually came like this, and uh, I noticed that it's like a combination spotlight, uh, floodlight deal. But when these came on, I noticed there's like a yellow ring on the spotlight type deal and it was kind of uh it didn't really look too good on camera so what i'm doing is i got this frosted plastic sheet that i'm going to use to actually diffuse the light and I actually went ahead and did that in this one and it, it makes a huge difference in the uh the light quality you can see here i kind of already have this one set up just something i slapped together to give an idea uh, what I was going to do before I actually get it all put in the backpack, but uh, Have this adapter Also ordered this off of eBay basically gives me a 12 volt power supply here on the side I got myself a little inline switch here so I could turn the lights on and off as I need to uh, I actually ran a test with just running one of these lights off this battery uh, If you're not familiar These batteries have three little indicator LED lights that show how much power is left in them. And this light ran for about three and a half hours before one of these lights went down. And uh, basically have this little inline switch here so I could turn the light on and off as needed, just to kind of save on power so it's not running constantly, blinding other people out fishing. You can see just how bright that is. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this is just my dining room wall with the light facing the other direction. And you see how much it can light it up with this thing here. So it'll be a good and bright light once it's all said and done. I want to have two of them on uh, each bag when it's all said and done. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get working on slapping all this stuff together here. You see, uh, like I said, I wanted to utilize some batteries that I already had, and this is the adapter. Got some 5.5 uh, by 2.1 millimeter pigtails here, just for uh, making all my connections and making everything kind of modular. Got some more inline switches here, just to kind of add wherever it's needed. Got some uh, grommets. Uh, basically what I plan to do with this is use this as kind of like some mounting points both for this screw on the bottom of the fixture here and for running the wires through the various compartments in the bag in order to uh, get everything where I need it all nice and neat and tidy and out of the way. 
uh, lighter just for my heat shrink on my wiring. Got some solder and some flux here. Uh, got a soldering iron I'm going to be pulling out at some point to make all these connections. And then we got our grommet tools and whatnot. Probably going to use a couple other things. Got a couple pieces of wood here for, again, the grommets just to have something to hammer onto. So with that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'll probably do a little bit of uh, hacking together here on the video and uh, play a little bit of music for y'all. So here we go. this part here like I said this was like a just a goodwill find a little five dollar bag I figured it's gonna be taken out for fishing anyway well this part is a little bit damaged and rather than trying to pull out a sewing machine and sew all that and it'd be pretty tight I don't even know if I could get to all that I just figured I was gonna grommet each corner and it'll pretty much fix it and make this a usable pouch again so not to mention it'll go inside to where one of the batteries are being stored and uh, give a couple outlets for, you know, connecting some additional devices, you know, whether for charging or whatever. So, yeah, just an idea. Oh, and by the way, folks, I basically just got a new computer chair here. My GoPro is about dead, so that's why I probably why you see a cord hanging there for a sec. But, uh... Basically what I'm doing is just using my old chair, these metal arms, as something that could insert into these pockets and it really helps with the grommeting. So I'm not just tearing, no, 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 I'm not just tearing stuff apart here. <laughs> areas I mentioned as just a little tear inside the bag here but it allows me to get access to the inside of this sleeve so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two grommets right here one of them I'm gonna start here because I kind of uh, tried on the book bag here and figured this would be a good spot for the lights to be mounted and I'm gonna do another one right up here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me to run the wire inside this backpack strap so one grommet will be for mounting purposes and the other one will be for allowing the wire to go through side panel to get access to this little piece of uh, the plastic covering here. I'm going to use that to mark out what I need to cut on this piece of plastic. What I'm going to do is lay this piece behind this clear piece here. That way uh, everything still fits nice and tight because this is really thin stuff. You can't exactly replace this and I still want all this to be sealed up to uh, keep any 
excess moisture out of it. So that's what we're doing on this part. So. getting a bit of this together and ultimately that one grommet that split driving me nuts once I mounted the light on here I realized this is just a bit too flimsy so what I got is a couple pieces of plastic here I feel like between the two of them it's gonna give enough extra support it'll help hold that light up a bit better so what I'm gonna do is insert this down in here pop a hole through this and then grommet it again, we'll see how that works. seeing the little foam part of the sleeve there you get a little plastic so you feed your wire through So, we got both our lights on here. Everything's wired up. Have my cord here so I could actually keep my GoPro plugged in and uh, record them. Record for much longer keeping it plugged in this way. Have uh, plenty of room in this thing left over for a couple trays of rubber worms, lures and stuff. I'm definitely gonna be putting more stuff in here. Probably get some bigger trays to utilize this whole area here got our two connections for each light that way I could, if i decide i'll just want to use one or the other you know i could just unplug it from right there got the battery in this part of course i gotta put multiple batteries in here i have three total so definitely get some uh good use out of all that has our usb connections like i said to charge the camera got our 12 volt out on here going to the lights and of course over here 
make it easy to reach back while I'm wearing this. And turn the lights on and off. Now, uh, I think the only thing left is the wait for it to get dark and go outside and test this out some. All right, and now it is dark. You can tell this is uh, no lighting. You know, get a reference of my phone here. And uh, I do live in like the city limits here, so we do get a good bit of, uh, you know, street light and whatnot. So it's not completely black. I, I can see where I'm walking, but when it comes to the camera, it's not of much good. So just to give an example, like a comparison here, we have my flashlight, which is probably similar to what Pat was using in his shark video has a uh, spotlight function you see that's how that looks it also has like a floodlight so it's a little comparison there see what that looks like you see it's still kind of hard to see but now let's compare that to the lighting rig on the DeWalt batteries all right and as you can tell you can see a lot more of what's going on here. Got a little bit of spotlight going on. They're kind of uh, fixed on the same spot at the moment, but you can aim them to kind of focus on whatever you need to look at. Yeah, I do a little twist here, and that'll definitely be good for uh, our nighttime fishing trips. So, with that, uh. This is the completed project, and uh, I'm going to go over all the little details and stuff. I can show you all what I was in it and move on from there. All right, folks. So uh, it is nighttime, so I moved into the kitchen here. It just has better lighting, but this is my so far completed lighting rig. So you see here, I've got a grommet that allows for the light to actually be mounted and uh, it actually allows for it to be you know able to spin so you can actually aim it where you want to shoot the light at got these additional grommets here it allows the wire to go through the sleeves and into the bag and you can see those connect right here so basically I can connect either one to one or two lights just depending on whatever I want to rig this up for uh, even have room for a few trays of lures, rubber worms and whatnot, hooks, all that good stuff. I'm sure I could fit plenty more in here. Uh, I ended up not utilizing the side compartments for the batteries like I originally planned just because it was such a tight fit and the wiring situation was kind of awkward with that. So I actually decided to put the batteries in this section so I'll actually be able to put all three batteries in here and just switch the plug from one to the other whenever the need arises and then on top of that you know we have these USB ports on these little adapters here so what that does is allow me to plug in you know my phone my GoPro just uh, whatever needs a little bit of extra juice and in the case of my GoPro, this feeds out the top of the center of the backpack. It would basically just run up over the side of my rig and connect to my GoPro just like that. So it really stays out of the way and uh, keep, keep the video recording so we could get better content for you guys. Now, uh, basically the only thing I could think of I would like to add or change on this is, you know, possibly some additional lights in the future or just more than likely I'll use these same type of lights and set them on a tripod or something like that so we could have uh, some stationary lighting when need be so this little rig right here with the switch works out great to switch this on and off without having to go fumbling through the bag every time so it's really good stuff I'm really happy with how this turned out so if you uh, if you enjoyed watching this if uh, you want to see more content like this maybe we could come up with some other ideas make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what sort of stuff you're interested in seeing in our future videos. And uh, 
Until then, tight lines.